What's up guys, this is Tom Westerholm, Boston Celtics reporter from MassLive.com. With the preseason right around the corner, let's take a look at some of the most pressing questions surrounding the team. Obviously, the locks for starting are Kyrie Irving, Gordon Hayward, and Al Horford. Kyrie and Gordon Hayward are the new acquisitions, but those three will be the guys who try to vault this team over 50 wins this season. They'll be the stars, they'll be the potential all-stars this season, and they'll be the most important pieces moving forward. From there, it gets a little more interesting. The most logical players to also be in the starting lineup are probably Marcus Morris and Marcus Smart. Morris is a versatile 3-4 combination who would probably play power forward while Al Horford plays center, which isn't Horford's desired position, which is one of the reasons why that's a little bit up in the air. Smart, meanwhile, is a great fit next to Kyrie Irving, who's an extremely versatile defender who can cover basically positions one through four, sort of 1.3 and a half, but we'll call it one through four. And he's just a perfect fit in the Celtic system. Along Alongside Irving, he would just really help shore up the defensive issues that Irving might bring. A lot of people actually believe that Jalen Brown will be the starter for the Celtics on opening night, which would be an interesting decision for Stevens. It would essentially mean that the Celtics value his versatility and his potential to be a lockdown on ball defender, kind of in the way that Avery Bradley was. Brown is very athletic, super versatile, long arms, really good player, um, especially in that system and especially the way the Celtics like to play defensively where they switch a lot of screens. The other dark horse is Tatum, who's less likely to start. In fact, he's almost certainly not going to start, especially as a rookie. He will get minutes, he'll get plenty of opportunity to shine, but there could be other power forwards there who start as well, or the Celtics could slot Aaron Baines into the starting lineup as a center, moving Al Horford to his preferred position as a power forward. That wouldn't necessarily be the most Brad Stevens decision. It would kind of limit the wing depth and, and it might make it a little more difficult to switch everything the way the Celtics like to do. But it is a possibility, especially if Horford makes it clear to the franchise that he would prefer to be a power forward. Terry Rozier could have a big role as well, especially as a guard off the bench. He probably won't be a starter, but he will play very significant minutes, especially compared to his role last year. The Celtics used him a lot in the playoffs and gave him valuable reps, and he could play as a point guard next to Gordon Hayward in lineups where Hayward is the primary ball handler and scorer. Be sure to check out MassLive.com Celtics for all the latest surrounding the team.